Well, but you know you love speaking, so you want to tell us <laughs> why and how and all the rest. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's probably something that's been on my mind for a, a fair while, to be honest. Um, you know, you get to this sort of age and um, probably the issues I've had physically with my body. Um, yeah, I knew it was the right time and as hard as it is to, to make the call and um, uh, admit to yourself, I suppose, it, it is a time. Um, you know, I'm really comfortable with it, as I just said to the group then. So. Um, know it's the right time and uh, looking forward to, to whatever's next. On your way up, whether you could go for another pre-season, this Yeah, certainly played on my mind a fair bit because um, this year has has been a struggle and I, I did feel really good coming into the year. But um, yeah, I suppose um, after I weighed everything up, um, I just felt this was the right call. For, for me personally and probably for the footy club as well. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, clearly um, they're always great games to play in, so to play in one more and for that to be the last, the way it's happened to work out, um, you know, I certainly look forward to, to playing this Saturday night. We gave you the dream script, you picked the main goal after the second <laughs> <laughs> Just a win route would be nice. Well, Jeremy said yeah. Catching up with what, what's, what's finally sort of brought you down in the end? Uh, just, just a knee, really. Um, obviously, I had the, the big operation a long time ago and had a really good run for a long time after that. Um, that's got a bit grumbly the last few years, and um, you know, round one had a bit of an incident um, with it. I was able to come back and, and play, but it has been a bit of a struggle, so. Um, yeah, that's that's probably the, the main one. The rest of the body's actually, you know, feeling okay. And the desire does that fade over time, or are you still hungry if, if body willing, you could keep going? Ah, uh, yeah, I think oh, it's certainly there. I love competing, and that's that's still there. So, um, but like I said, really comfortable that the time is right. I know the time's right. So, um, yeah, the decision. Um, you know, in the end, it was tough, but once I made it, I knew that I made the right one. Well, does it all fit with what you could have been when you first walked in here? Um, yeah, I just said that to the group. I didn't really know what it looked like coming over. Didn't expect to get drafted. Um, dreamt of playing a game, you know, as, as coming across. And um, I just feel incredibly grateful to the football club, firstly for picking me up, but then, you know, there were some people early on that had big influences in my career and, um, you know, saw something in me. and. Um, really taught me the way, I suppose, and gave me an opportunity and a chance. And um, so coming over, I didn't have any huge expectations, but to be here now after all this time is is pretty crazy to think about. Ah, uh, yep, <laughs> it, it certainly does. Um, you know, it's disappointing. Uh, you know, not to have one, that's for sure, but um, you know, I know I've given everything um, to the game and to this footy club, so um, you know, I look forward to, to watching on and watching this group hopefully get what they deserve in time and um, yeah, hope that happens really soon. Um, yeah, it's incredibly special to me. Um, like I said before, I'm really grateful for the opportunity that I got when I first came over and, you know, there's been ups and downs along the way and um, you know, obviously the knee injury and stuff and the club really stuck by me in that time. Um, um, so, yeah, it's, it's been great to hopefully repay some of that faith that they showed in me and giving me an opportunity in the first place and, and sticking by me. Uh, probably just to coming in every day and I've been so used to it for so long now so coming in with you know 45 really good mates um, all the staff um, you become really close to these people so it's probably going to be a bit of a, an adjustment but um, you know I'll, 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 that's probably the thing I'll miss most and obviously game day just competing and 
Um, you know, that's something that I've, I've loved over the, the journey. Um, so probably those two things stand out. James said you were the best Port Adelaide player of the AFL era. Did you run? Uh, you know how much I love speaking about myself, Rude. So. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like telling your teammates, Robbie? Uh, it was I don't know. It went better than expected from my point of view. I don't know what they... <laughs> I thought I'd be no good. I thought I'd um, get quite emotional. Um, but I didn't, so... Um, yeah, it, it was probably something that's been on my mind and the hardest thing that I've... Um, you know, in the lead up to all of this, it's um, been the hardest thing for me to get my head around. It's been comfortable with the decision. It was just probably doing that, doing this, and... Um, but nah, it, it went okay and yeah, like I said, looking forward to getting in the rest of the week and getting in the showdown. Speaking of talking about the South Hampshire Club, twisting your arms and do it, like this rather than just saying that the sunset and the season announcement? Nah, I didn't. I knew I, um, it was something that, that had to be done and I, it's the right thing to do. And, um, you know, like I said before, the footy club have been so great to me, so um, yeah, anything I can do to sort of repay them. So you have the record for the most last kicks to win a game, the one that you really or hold more than anybody? Uh, uh, I don't know, mate. Um, not really, I guess, to be. To be honest. <laughs> this is one of the few times you're able to talk about yourself and everyone just lets you. Is, is there any highlights throughout your career that you will look back on and go, geez, that was a great day for me or a great day for the team, like in a particular game? Uh, yeah, I think I one that stands out, it's probably 2013, I think um, we went over and beat Collingwood at the G in a, in a final and just given from where we'd come from before. Um, I just remember being out in the G that night, I just couldn't believe it. Um, you know, being out there with Trav, with him after the game, and just, I suppose that, that one stuck out for me. It was my first final and no one gave us much hope. And then obviously after that, there was some, playing some prelims and, and things like that. Uh, the 2014 prelim was huge, massive crowd at the MCG and obviously, um, Sad day as well, but um, yeah, the showdowns, um, yeah, there's been plenty of highlights. You mentioned Trav, was he one that you sort of had to avoid making eye contact with during the speech over there? Yeah, he definitely was. Um, and that was probably, yeah, I, I told my wife I wouldn't be able to look at her, so I was sort of looking over one direction of the room, but I caught eyes with Trav at one stage, and um, yeah, but he's definitely one and, you know, been on the journey the whole way together and, um, yeah, he's got a few more years yet left yet. What's it like to come so far in your career with one other like, sort of link so close to the, one other player in particular this city club? Yeah, it's been amazing. I suppose you know we've been best mates the whole the whole way through, um, and he's been such a great friend to me and my family as well. So um, you know, it's well, it's um, it's sad that it'll finish up. Um, the day-to-day -day of it, um, I know we'll be great mates for uh, forever. You talk about the need, there's a lot of adversity three or four years ago and you had to try to go through the cancer. You talk about the way you started your football career. What have you learned about yourself in, ter in terms of the adversity that you've had to overcome? What have, what have you learned about yourself as a person at the journey? Yeah, I think um, obviously that was a major point in my life, but um, I learned a lot when I, when I did my knee in 2012 about um, overcoming adversity or um, learned a lot about myself throughout that period. So I think um, you know, after that, I've been able to handle things probably a, a lot better and it's just a part of maturing and growing up a little bit as well. So um, I think that was probably, that, that injury in 2012 probably sticks out for me as um, something that was Pretty major for me. And in terms of being able to have a group of 45 guys that you can lean on in those moments, how special is that? Then? Yeah, I think that's a, a great thing about football clubs. And like I said, 
before the 45 mates, the players, but then also the staff and everyone that's around it. You, um, there's just so many great people involved um, at football clubs and you know, when you're going through times like that, you certainly do lean on, on those people and I've been grateful to have some amazing friends and some amazing people in my life at this club. Oh, look, I think his, um, his performance in big, big moments are enough that you rely on someone like Robbie. You asked him you know, which, which kick did you remember the most. What a fantastic, which, which kick. He does it that often for you and he does it that reliably for you. I think you, um, you know, with, with great champions, you, um, you know the person is more special than the footballer. And that's remarkable when you watch him play football. That's what I'd say about Robbie. He's, he's the complete package. He's, he's the absolute best of the best when it comes to playing the game. Um, but he's, he's, he's equally as far up on that list of great people and um, that's why this room's full, that's why this moment is, is, is sad in some ways but such a celebration in lots of other ways that we'll you know, reflect back, we, we all will, we'll all reflect back at some point and go, gee, um, I, I coached Robbie Gray, you know, Robbie Gray should have been coaching me, it's, it's, I played with Robbie Gray, I was his teammate, I was a mate. You know, it's such a special person that we're talking about today and that's why it's, um, as I say, I find it sad as much as I do um, a celebration of his career. When you said it would be Rob's call, is there something in you wanted to say, just do it for one more year? No, what I, what I love about Robbie is um, the team always comes first. And um, you know, when we were having this slight type of conversation around what this looks and feels like to him, it's like, his first reply, I just don't want to be that person who goes one more year just for the sake of going one more year. Team is more important. Team has always been more important for him. What was that conversation like for you, Ken? Uh, it's been really honest with Rob for not, not, not a short period of time. It's just been, hey, when the time comes, it won't be, won't be, won't be a time that we're any of us looking forward to, but it, it'll be a time when you know and, and he knows. And that's why you respect the decision. Why have showdown brought out the best team? I'm not sure, to be honest. I mean, you're always sort of excited to play in them. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, you're excited to play in every game, though, so I'm not sure. Obviously, showdowns have a little bit more on the line. I remember the early days coming over and um, watching Chad Corns and Dean Brogan and these sorts of guys go about and just how much it meant to them and how, you know, special the game was in this state so um yeah but like i said you you want to perform every week but yeah maybe we've been able to go a little bit better in some of those games there's something you can hang your hat on so a bit like rory Laird was asked about you possibly retiring last night he said look it's really bad but i'm going to be glad to see you back <laughs> is it something for you to hang your hat on maybe just privately uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like I said, they're huge games and something that, oh, you obviously, as an individual, you want to perform well in, in big games, so, um, and they're big games, so, you know, they've been enjoyable over the years, and, um, you know, it's nice to be involved in one more. Um, so, yeah, just my family, um, obviously, ongoing discussions, you know, with them over time, uh, my mum, my sisters, obviously my wife, <laughs> we discussed it a fair bit. Um, and you know, Kenny and, and Chris um, along the way. And then from there, Trav um, and everyone else. So it was sort of, um, yeah, like I said, something had been on my mind for a while and um, I had discussions with people that are close to me to get their opinion on things as well. Um, but yeah, I think I knew um, myself that it was time. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I'd love to, to stay involved in footy in, in some capacity, but what that looks like, um, we'll, wait and, we'll wait and see going forward. Then you gave them sort of open invitation to stay on as a player. He said last week, we'll have him if he wants to play again. We'll have him as a coach. Rob? Yeah. Rob's got the keys. <laughs> He's got the keys, he do what he likes. He always has. 
um, we'll do it again on Saturday night. You'll have the keys. Go where you want, Rob. Is something you think that he's probably got a bit of the talent for? You talk about football brain? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a super smart oh. football, clearly. But, um, you know, he, he, he's clearly claimed a couple already that he's drafted for us as a footy club. <laughs> so he doesn't, he has an eye for talent. He just loves the game. And, and when you love the game like he does, you're always going to be successful at which, whatever pathway he chooses to go. From, from our footy club point of view, he, he won't be lost to Port Adelaide Football Club. Are you claiming Jack Butters, Robbie? Can you? 100%. Can you leave him to fulfil your legacy? I can't claim any of them. Um, Park, Jeff Parker stitches me up there when he goes to the media after the draft and says I had a hand in it, but no, that's all their work, all their great work. You're a very humble man, but what sort of group do you think you leave behind? Who do you think these boys are capable of in the next few years? Um, I think it's a very talented group. Um, you know, we've got some amazing young talent at the club. Um, you, know, you just mentioned Butsy. Um, he and some of those other guys around that age, and um, you know, I'm really excited once they get a few more years under their belt, what they can do. But this year's been disappointing, but I know we're, we're a lot better side than um, what we've been this year. So um, I'm sure they'll bounce back next year and um, I, I think there'll be some, a very bright future ahead for, for the group. I haven't, no. I've, um, I've probably just been, <laughs> been thinking about today, to be honest, and getting through that first. And then, um, you know, like I said, I look forward to getting on with the week and preparing and um, you know, having my last crack at it. I think it's going to be a positive start this weekend. You've sort of got a message for the fourth fans that they've given to you over uh, your career, I suppose. Yeah. Did you one last time? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I can't wait to play in front of them one last time. I and mean, they've given me and my family so much and been such great supporters of me uh, personally, but um, you know, for what they give to the club and, and all of us in this room. Um, you know, they're amazing, so looking forward to getting out there one last time and definitely thankful for, for the support from them over the journey. Did you have to be um, helicoptered off Kangaroo Island in your first three seconds? Not quite. Um, I ended up in hospital, but um, yeah, a bit of dehydration. One of those um, big days of the pre-season camp and hadn't really done anything like that before and got through most of it, but yeah, towards the end, um, I was in all sorts, so ended up in hospital for the night while the boys <laughs> camped out and got through quickly their paces a little bit more, so I had a nice sleep and um, that was only two weeks in, so mum was pumped with that. <laughs> if someone had told you from your hospital bed that you'd leave as one for Adelaide's greatest ever player, what would you have said, do you think? Uh, we would have just laughed, we would have laughed, um, yeah, like I said, no expectations early on and had no idea what, what was in front of me, so... Um, you know, it's certainly, it's amazing to think back. It feels so long ago, but it does go quick at the same time. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.